How's it going everyone? It is Panjano here and in this video we're going to be covering how to remove anywhere from 30 to 100 plus gigabytes from your storage space, allowing you to have more drive space available for files that matter to you, speeding up your PC as the less data you have stored on your PC the faster it should run, and showing you quick and easy ways to identify old or big files you may want to remove from your PC that you don't even realize are there in Windows 11, or for those of you that may still be running on Windows 10, these are all completely fine to run on Windows 10 and work perfectly. As always if you do enjoy this video and are happy with your results, please do consider leaving a like and a comment for the YouTube algorithm as it does help me out tremendously. And before we jump into all of that, let me introduce you to today's video sponsor. PDF Element is an incredibly easy, simple to use, one-stop shop for everything PDF. Whether you're looking to create PDFs from scratch or use one of their hundreds of available templates built with inside of the application to quickly and easily edit anything you may need to send over to clients, businesses, friends or family, or just edit PDFs in which you may have been sent to look over, annotate, caption, edit or even sign. All of these features are built directly with inside of the application and PDF Element can be found on all of your favorite devices from Windows PCs, Macs, iOS mobiles and Android. To download and try PDF Element for free, use my link in the description down below, you'll be brought over to the PDF Element webpage. Select the free download section, install the app and boot inside of it. You can choose to open, create, compress, convert or edit any PDFs you may have available. If you're looking to create a PDF from scratch, you can use one of their many free templates which are featured with inside of the application, whether this is from casual all the way up to business. Inside of your PDF, you can make any of the necessary changes, customize your text, font, and do all of the basic edits you expect from a PDF editor. In the Protect tab, you have fantastic options such as being able to set a password on the file to stop unwanted eyes from viewing this, and you can also add electronic signatures inside of PDF Element. So if you are often sent PDFs that you need to sign for business purposes, you can quickly and easily just go to the drop down menu, select your signature, and implement it directly inside of the program to have PDFs signed almost instantly. You can simply save PDFs as PDFs, but you can also convert them directly to Word documents, Excel documents, PPT, images, or just plain text. So make sure to try out PDF Element today for free using the sponsored link in the top of the description down below. And again, a massive shout out to PDF Element for sponsoring today's video. And before we jump into this video, a quick disclaimer about deleting files on your PC. Please do double check anything you are deleting. Anything that looks important or that you don't understand, you shouldn't be deleting whatsoever. If there are important files on your PC, I would always recommend doing a manual backup which can be removed from your PC, such as a USB drive, USB hard drive, or even doing cloud storage backups of important files. If we do anything on our PC, we're first of all going to navigate down to the bottom left hand side and click on our file explorer. We're then going to navigate over to this PC on the left hand side. Take a quick note, screenshot, or just remember how much space is on our local disk C drive and all of our other drives. So at the end of this video, we can look back and see how much storage space we were actually able to free up. Now this PC isn't particularly cluttered or that old. So there isn't going to be a ton of old data files with inside of here, but the older your Windows installation is and the older your PC is, the better your results from this are going to be, as you would have accumulated a ton of excess files, data, and other rubbish on your PC that will still be remaining on it. You can start off with the basic storage optimizations by clearing out excess temporary files, caching files, and data from our PC. To start off, we're going to be navigating down to the bottom left hand side, clicking on our Windows button. Inside of the Windows search, search for percent %temp% percent, just like so, then press enter. Inside of this folder, we're going to go all the way from the top all the way down to the bottom. You may have more files in here depending on how old your system is. Once everything is selected, right click, then select delete. Select do this for all current items, then select skip. Select continue. The only files and folders still remaining are the only ones that Windows was actually using. Everything else was an excess caching file, just sat on your PC taking up storage space. With that completed, exit out. We then need to apply that same step, but in two different locations. So navigate down, select your Windows button once again. This time type in run. Once again, we're going to be typing in temp and selecting OK. But this time you'll be booted into the Windows temp folder and not the app data temp folder. We then need to repeat the previous step, so highlight and select everything with inside of here, right click, select delete. If a pop-up does come up, select do this for all current items, then hit skip, we're then completed. Navigate back down to your Windows button once again, typing run again, pressing enter, this time typing in prefetch, then select OK. Select continue if you are met with an administrative pop-up, and the Windows prefetch folder is basically caching data for all of your most common used files. But the problem with prefetch when you're done using old files is that in some cases it's not particularly efficient in removing old data and old files. So once again, highlight and select everything with inside of here you'll typically have quite a lot of files in this folder. With it all selected, right click, select delete once again, do this for all current items, and skip. With that completed, exit out. 
With all of those files then removed from your PC, we then need to navigate down to the bottom left to our file explorer, then navigate over to the left hand side to this PC. We then need to navigate over to our local disk C drive, right click and select properties. Inside of this folder we then need to navigate down to the Windows disk cleanup utility. Now before we continue on, for any of you that have recently updated from Windows 10 to Windows 11, you may still have your Windows 10 installation files and data still on your PC, which is great but you may want to delete this, especially if you are happy with Windows 11. For those of you that do not want to go back to Windows 10 and you don't want those excess files sitting on your PC, you may also want to navigate down to the bottom left to clean up system files. I'm personally going to be selecting this as well. Once that's been selected, the disk cleanup utility will then recalculate and open back up. On the left hand side, I'm going to proceed to tick every single box with inside of here. Read through all of the different options and if there's anything with inside of here you don't want to remove from your PC, just simply unselect it and it then won't be deleted, but I'm going to be selecting everything. Once you've selected your personal options, go down to OK, select delete files, the Windows disk cleanup utility will then proceed to go through and remove all of those excess files from your PC. You can also run the disk cleanup utility on other drives on your PC and that is also recommended to do. Once the disk cleanup utility has been completed we can then navigate down and select OK. Back inside of the this PC section we can then navigate over to our other drives as we can apply some optimizations to those. If you do have any other drives available move on to the next drive, select properties. Inside of this page you can also run through the disk cleanup utility but another fantastic option which is available would be to also compress this drive to save disk space. Now this isn't recommended for all drives but if you do have some slower hard drives or drives in which you don't typically use on your PC and you would like some excess space on them, you can choose to compress those drives and it will save you some disk space on them. I would never recommend compressing your local disk C drive though as we want that to have maximum performance at all times. Before we exit out of this tab, navigate back inside of your local disk C drive manually and inside of this folder, if you see a old dot windows folder with inside of here, this is your old windows 10 or windows 11 data that your PC is currently not using and is just there as a backup. Again, if you don't wish to uninstall install updates or revert back to Windows 10, you can remove that folder and it is recommended to do so. Next up, we can apply some quick, easy and effective optimizations to our drives on Windows, whether we're running on SSDs, NVMEs or even hard drives. For this, navigate down to your Windows button and type optimize. You should then have the option for defragment and optimize drives. Windows 10 and 11 will never defrag an SSD. There's a common misconception that in the optimize drive sections, if you select an SSD with inside of here and you select optimize, Windows will then automatically defragment an SSD, it won't. It will only ever defrag a hard drive. SSD drives will only be trimmed and not defragmented. Once you select any and all drives with inside of here, you'll then have the option for optimize or maybe analyze. If you select a drive and only analyze is selectable, select analyze, then afterwards select optimize. Select your local disk C drive, select analyze, then select optimize. Depending on the speed of some drives in your system, this can take a little while. Just go through all of the drives that are available. Once that's been completed, we can then go ahead and exit out. Another optimization that is available with inside of the Windows This PC section is we can right click on any drive with inside of here, head to properties, head over to tools, and we can actually select the error checking tool. Select check on any and all of your drives, select scan, and this will scan the drives to see if there are any problematic files or errors detected with inside of the drives, and it'll help rectify those errors. We're actually going to jump in and start uninstalling excess programs, games and applications we actually don't need on our PC manually, as this will be able to free up tons of space. For this, we're going to navigate down to the bottom left hand side, type in remove. Select add or remove programs with inside of Windows. Depending on how old your system is, will depend on how many applications and games you have installed with inside of this section, but take anywhere from five to 10 minutes to go through everything with inside of here and select the programs you know you don't need. For me, I don't want the Alienware command center anymore, so I'm going to click on this, click on the three dots, select uninstall. This will be especially important once you navigate down and find games that are installed to your PC. Like here, I have Escape from Tarkov installed still, and I don't wish to have this on this PC any longer, so I'm going to click on the three dots and select Uninstall. If you're looking to remove a game with inside of this list and it's a Steam game, Steam will boot up and you will be prompted to uninstall it through Steam. That's still fine, just select Uninstall through the Steam application. Once you have completed removing all of the folders and applications from inside of your PC that you no longer need, you can then continue on and exit out. With that completed, we can then move over to the most important stage with inside of here to identify files and remove most of the data from our PC that we don't need. For this, we're going to navigate down, select our file explorer, head over to this PC once again. Now, with inside of this step, we are going to repeat this for every drive on our PC. For me, that's going to be all three of these drives, but for you, it could just be your local disk C drive, or it could be every drive on your PC. No matter what though, we're going to start off with local disk C drive. Double click on the drive. Once you're in the main directory, head over to the top right-hand side to search. Inside of here, we're going to be searching for size, 
colon, and we're then going to type in any of the options listed below. We're going to start off with gigantic, we also have huge. Searching for size gigantic will list all files in your PC over 4 gigabytes. Searching for huge will show you files between 1 and 4 gigabytes, and so on. So we'll start off by searching for size gigantic. With that typed in, select enter manually, and again, depending on how old your system is, how full it is, will depend on how long this search will take. My search has just been completed and it's listed me all of these files. Before we go ahead and delete anything with inside of this folder, any files we are going to delete, just double check the file name and also check the file directory listed below to ensure that it is actually something you want to delete. So for me, this Windows no editor.pack file is 5.35 gigabytes, but it's actually listed under my C drive program files and it's actually just Steam workshop data. So I'm happy to take a chance and delete this individual file, but just double check anything you do select with inside of it. So I'm going to right click on this file, I'm going to delete it. All of these video files, I know that I have backups of these stored on other drives in my PC, so I don't need these sitting on my local disk C drive. So I'm going to be right clicking and deleting all of these files. Once you delete anything with inside of this search, it won't disappear from here automatically, but it will have been deleted from your PC if you reapply the search. I don't know why this doesn't automatically appear, but trust me, these files will be deleted once you've selected delete. Once you've finished off with size gigantic, head back up to the Windows search bar, this time searching for size colon huge. This will show us files anywhere from 1 to 4 gigabytes. My search has now been completed. Feel free to double click on these files as they will load up fine and you can see what's inside of them. I know I no longer need that file so I'm going to right click, select delete. And again I've got a ton of Steam Workshop data with inside of here that I know I don't want so I'm going to be highlighting and deleting all of that. And just go through all these steps on your PC and delete files you know you no longer need. Once you've completed removing everything with inside of it, remember to jump into your other drives if you want to optimize those and search for size gigantic, size huge, go through those files and delete the ones in which you don't need, just so you do this for all of your drives. Once that step has been fully completed, we can then exit out of this PC, navigate to the top left hand side, right click on our recycling bin and choose to empty this out. Before we close out the video, we're going to be enabling one further optimization to stay on top of our storage to keep it optimized automatically in the future. For this, we're going to be navigating to the bottom left hand side, clicking on our Windows button and search for the word storage. Then select storage settings. Inside of this section, this will then give you a breakdown as to where most of your applications, files and data are located with inside of your C drive. But the main optimization we're going to be looking for with inside of here is to scroll down towards the bottom until you find storage management. Inside of here, we're going to navigate down to storage sense and turn this on. Once that's been completed, click on the arrow next to this to expand the option. Inside of here, we're going to choose to keep Windows running smoothly by automatically cleaning up temporary system files and app data at the top. We're going to turn on automatic user content cleanup and we can then choose the configuration setup for storage sense. In the drop-down menu, I personally prefer to run storage sense every month rather than when the disk is low. Delete files in my recycling bin if they have been there for longer than 14 days, and delete files in my downloads folder if they haven't been opened for also 14 or 30 days. Storage Sense will then automatically run on your PC and will run accordingly to the configs in which you've just set up. This will delete those files automatically and keep storage space efficient in your PC without you having to do anything. And at this point, I would also recommend just quickly running Storage Sense manually just so you can start it off. And congratulations, at this stage in the video, you've completed all the steps necessary to free up a ton of extra storage space on your PC. To finish off with the video, we're going to navigate down to our File Explorer and compare our local disk C drive and other drive space compared to what it was originally to see how much space we were actually able to remove. If you've been able to free up a ton of storage space on your PC, make sure to let me know how much you were able to free up in that comment section down below. And thank you ever so much for taking the time to watch this video. Make sure to check out the two videos on screen now for further performance enhancements.